Hey guys, this is Mike with Century Security Systems Incorporated, and in today's video, we'd like to take a look at upgrading to the GeoVision VMS software. We're going to do a video series over the next few weeks on the GeoVision VMS software. It's not something that we've covered before, and it's a, a new software that GeoVision has recently come out with uh, that gives you a lot of advanced uh, features. It allows you to have additional cameras and, and whatnot. So for today's video, we're just going to cover the basics of upgrading uh, your current software to the new GeoVision software. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is exit out of the GeoVision NVR software. Now you'll notice I mentioned NVR software. The VMS software works only with IP devices. If you do have analog cameras, that's not to say that you cannot use the VMS software anymore. It just means that you'd have an extra step involved. What you'd have to do is purchase GeoVision video servers which would convert analog to IP and then you'd be able to use the software. The next thing you want to do is back up your current GeoVision settings. Now I'm using Windows 10. Um, this is a test machine that, uh, that we have. On your production DVR it will be Windows 7. So you're going to find the GeoVision folder and within that folder you're going to have a fast backup and restore. You'll enter your username and password and click on backup multicam settings. Click the arrow. Now in this dialog box that pops up ensure that you change the save in path. We're going to put it on the desktop so we'll call it NVR settings and click save. Okay, once that's done we now have the NVR settings right on our desktop. The next thing that we're going to want to do is locate the GeoVision Digital Surveillance System software in Control Panel. We're going to select it and click on Uninstall. And say yes. Yes again. And finish. Now in your installation it's more than likely going to prompt you to restart the computer at this point. Please go ahead and do that. The next step is going to be to access our website, or sorry, our FTP site, which is ftp.cctvcentury.com. On our FTP page, go to Software, V Series, VMS, and you can download the installation folder from here. So we'll copy that and paste that onto our desktop. Now you may want to do this beforehand. Um, depending on the speed of your internet connection, this can take anywhere from five minutes to five hours. It's, it is a fairly large file. Okay, looks like our download is just about finished. Now that that's completed, I'm going to close out of the FTP page. I'm going to right click on the GeoVision VMS folder. and I'm going to extract it. Now that we have the extracted copy, we can go ahead and delete the original. Now within the GeoVision VMS uh, folder, you'll find a quick start guide as well as the actual installer. So 
So we're gonna go ahead and run the GeoVision VMS installer program now. So I'm getting a prompt here to disable the user access control function. If you're using a Sentry NVR, you'll not, you will not get that because we'll have already disabled it. For my installation, I'm just gonna go ahead and say yes. Now, continue to click next or yes on these pages, accepting the license and so on. I recommend you click to create a shortcut on the desktop. Now the GeoVision IR remote control, you can leave that unchecked unless you actually have the physical remote control. Click next again and it'll start the installation process. Now, if you see this process, would you like to include the previous recorded files to the timeline? This process may take some time. It's not kidding when it says it may take some time. It could take hours. If you have, you know, a system with say 15, six terabyte hard drives, it could take the better part of a day. It does import all of your previous video footage though, so we do recommend that you say yes. If you don't care about any of your previous video footage, Say no and then format the hard drives and start fresh. Okay, so if you say yes, it's going to ask you for the username and password. And it's going to select, ask you to select the cameras. So you can even go in and specify, you know, you could say, I, I only really need camera four. That's the most important one. And that would significantly cut back on the amount of time that this process would take. In my case, there's no recorded footage on this, so it took no time at all. Now, the next thing that's gonna come up is the prompt to restart your computer. Okay, go ahead and select yes, and then click finish to restart the computer. Now, once the computer is restarted, you'll have a GeoVision VMS icon on the desktop. Okay, before you enter into the VMS program, um, or if on startup, it, if you set it to start automatically, you're going to have to exit out of the software because um, the first step that we want to do here actually is import the previous settings. We're going to double click the NVR settings file. Okay, again, I'm getting the user access control stuff when in your case, you should not be getting that. We'll enter the username and password and select restore multicam system and then restore backup settings. Click the arrow. Now it's gonna ask you to select the multicam program path. Okay, so there's my GeoVision VMS folder. Okay, so it's gonna say the password database may not be replaced. Please close all open applications and click yes to continue. What that means is that any usernames and passwords that you'd created, you will have to recreate them. Click OK. Close out of there and then open up the GeoVision VMS software. Once the program loads, it'll have all of your cameras and everything already added back in with all of your configuration settings. Now, there will be new configuration settings in VMS that you did not have before that you will need to be configured again. In the upcoming videos, we're gonna take a look at every single setting in the VMS software, all of the features, cover everything for you guys, how to add cameras, how to delete cameras, how to do playback, how to back up video, all sorts of stuff. So go ahead and click the subscribe button, and in next, next week's video, we're gonna cover adding and deleting IP cameras. Thank you for watching.